Who is the Filipino rice farmer? Rice farmers have an average of 8 years of schooling. They have an average of 5 household members. Their average annual income reaches up to 104,268 pesos. They have an average of 28 years in farming. Most farmers have an average age of 54 years old. And 87% of rice farmers are married. 89% of farmers are male and 89% rely on farming for income. 41% of them attended training programs and seminars. They manage an average of 1.42 hectares of farm area. And 52% own the land they farm. Bata pa lang ako, nakikita ko na ang mga magulang ko na nagsasaka. Magsasaka rin kasi ang napangasawa ko, pero dahil may sakit na siya, kaya ako na ang namamahala sa bukid. Akala ko noon, magiging simpleng nanay lang ako, pwede pa pala akong matuto. Dati, sariling teknik lang namin ang ginagawa namin. Lumaki kami sa bukid eh, niisip namin, alam na namin yan. Pero marami pa pala kaming hindi alam. Kailangan pala pantay-pantay ang mga tanim. Walang mataas, walang mababa. Kasi kapag hindi pantay, hindi maganda ang tubo ng halamong palay. Napaka-importanting matuto tayo ng bagong techniques, lalo't may climate change at pandemya ngayon. Yung mga dati nating alam, pwedeng hindi na magandang gawin dahil nag-iiba na ang panahon natin. Kailangang handa tayo sa hamon. Sabayan din natin ang tiyaga sa pagtuklas ng mga bagong kaalaman. Comparing to other countries, eh, mas mataas yung ating yield increase or total average yield compared to other countries, Asian countries. Basically, we would like to show you that because of the research for development that we do, we are able to increase the yield of our farmers. Dahil mataas din ang labor cost kasi compared sa ibang countries, mas mataas ang kanilang mechanization level. Sa atin, madami pa ang manual operation. Kaya mataas ang ating labor cost. And of course, mababang presyo ng palay. Lagi yan yung problema ng ating mga farmers. And also, yung insufficient water supply. Kasi ilan lang ang may mga dams sa Pilipinas. So, another problem ng ating farmers, lack of capital. And also, yung access to the technology kasi yung iba nating farmers mahirap puntahan. Nandiyan sila sa liblib na lugar. Since we produce more rice than any other Asian nations, we really ought to be among the most productive nations in terms of agriculture. However, for a variety of reasons, our rice farmers face an uphill battle in their pursuit for a steady income. Some of these include the low price of palay, a lack of capital, a lack of access to modern technology, and an inadequate supply of water. These conditions make it impossible for rice producers to keep up with demand. Now, we should ask ourselves, what can we do to help them? And what is our government doing to solve their problem as well? So, field rice work. Since its creation in November 1985, field rice has stood by its reason for being to help respond to the needs of the struggling rice farmers of the country's endeavors to attain rice self-sufficiency. 
Fuel Rise helps develop high yielding, cost reducing, and environment friendly technologies so farmers can produce enough rice for the Filipinos. The Institute lives up to its advocacy, clean, green, practical, and smart rice farming systems for competitiveness, sustainability, and resiliency, or simply clean GPS for CSR. Amidst changing agricultural landscape and context, Fuel Rice addresses some of today's significant problems, which are hunger, climate change, increasing fuel costs, environment degradation, and knowledge gaps. We help create solutions to these prob problems through breeding, creating strat strategies for climate change adaptation, advancing the use of renewable energy, resource conservation, developing mechanisms for better knowledge sharing and learning, and optimizing ICTs. So of course, yung unfair trade practices, victims of usury, farmlands, inability to create value in their products, lack of resources and information. So basically, yung mga farmers natin, ano, kanina nakita natin na they are complaining malagi about mababa yung kanilang uh, pagbenta ng produce and also yung kanilang farmland ay maliliit marami sa ating mga farmers they are only till about 1 hectare of rice land and then they have no capacity to create value sa kanilang products for example, sila yung nagproduce, iba yung bibili, iba yung magmimil para mabenta as rice. And also, lack of resources like capital, wala sila pambili na fertilizer na tama para yun yung kanilang i-apply. We are able to put food on our tables that will nourish us and get us ready for the day ahead thanks to rice farming. Given that it feeds more than half of the world's population, rice is one of the most crucial crops on earth. Our farmers are a priceless resource for both our daily lives and the economy. Nevertheless, in spite of these realities, they hardly make enough money from farming to get by. In order to empower them, we must take all necessary steps. We may express our support by passing laws that will make their farming more productive and efficient. Buying locally is another way we can show our support. We can bring about the change rice farmers need to lead better daily lives. For we are their voices. We are their hope. And they are ours. Together, we will rise up.